Mall Santas of Reddit, what is the most memorable thing a child has asked for? My father used to play Santa for a local charity and his elves would hand him gifts with the children's names on them. Santa would call out the child's name and Santa would give them the gift, simple, and it would bring a big smile to the children. Well, my father had poor eyesight and he was nearsighted. This one year he gets the gift and starts calling out Mary Christian, no child comes forward, my father calls a few more times, still no response. Finally the elf looks at the gift and tells my father that says, Merry Christmas. My father starts laughing at his own flub, elf has to call out the real name and the child received their gift from a heartily laughing Santa. This was in 2005 so I was a junior in high school and I was Santa's helper, elf, along with another girl who was also Santa's helper and this little boy came and asked Santa for a pirate ship. But the kid couldn't pronounce his R's that well so it sounded like he said he wanted a pile of shit for Christmas. The mall Santa I was working with looked confused as hell so I had to tell him that he said he wanted a pirate ship not a pile of shit. When my shift was done I went to my car and laughed till I couldn't breathe. I tell this story every Christmas, this guy right here did a stint as the Simpsons dog. I asked for a turtle once. Did you get the turtle? When I was 3 or 4 my mom took me to the mall Santa. I had an unhealthy fascination with military small arms at the time. I made a list of every firearm I could imagine and a list of volatile materials to boot. I had a multipage list in hand that even the A team would envy. When I showed my list to the Santa he said nothing to me. He simply gave my mom a very disapproving look over his spectacles. My mom snapped a picture right at that point showing the upset Santa with a very excited me explaining every entry on my list. We still have that picture and the story is shared every Christmas with friends and relatives. Edit, I'll find the picture for everyone and post it tomorrow. You're gonna tell us that awesomeness and not post the pics? Come on, man. My friend was Santa and I was the photographer, there was a family with two twins one baby and two bigger kids. The twins were very excited and begged their mom, then the mom's like okay. And then the twin was like I want a hot air balloon. They had a British accent so it sounded very cute, we were right by the Builder Bear workshop so the other twin was like and I want a cute princess dress for my kitty cat. They looked at me smiling saying can you take a picture of us? And I was like oh of course. That was the last photo of our day and it was the most adorable thing ever. Ah. Um this reminds me of a, non Santa related, cute kid incident. I was taking pictures at an equestrian event and the cutest little boy was outside the competition area with his pony, I guess his dad was jumping inside because when the rider competing finished the last jump the boy dropped his reins and threw his hands up and said yay daddy. And then said to his pony did you see daddy? Did you see? Oh my gosh it was crazy cute, legit melted my icy cold heart. Not a Santa, but I used to do the USPS letters to Santa where you send local kids presents anonymously through the post office. You used to be able to go to the main city branch and read the actual letters from kids and pick one. One year I decided on a letter from a little girl asking for used clothes for herself and her sister. I cried on the spot. I went to Old Navy and a few other places and got them winter coats, boots, gloves, hats, I mean. This is Chicago. The thought of kids not having very basic winter gear is heartbreaking. Not a mall Santa but the equivalent in Belgium, Santa Claus. Once a kid asked me to stop bringing daddy beer. It was heartbreaking. For their mom to be back with them, oh dear. She's with God now but she will be watching over you from above what? No, she went to buy shoes and left me with an old ass creep. Did I stutter? An official Red Rider Carbine Action 200 range shot model air rifle. He had obviously been watching a Christmas story. I think I broke some poor Santa guy. The Christmas after my identical twin died, I asked for her to come home. Oh my god this fucking broke my heart. A story we always share about my sister, I went away to boarding school and my mom took my 5 year old sister and 3 year old brother to see Santa. My brother went I want my big sister to come home. 
Of course, Santu asked where I was and my sister, helpful as ever, returns my parents got rid of her. My mom luckily was in earshot and easily clarify the misunderstanding. I'm not a mall Santa, but I was Santa's elf for two years when I was younger. I was the helping set up kids and getting them to smile, not the one taking pictures. The request that I brought tears to my eyes and that I still remember 10 plus years later is the kid, 6 to 7 years old, that asked if Santa could cure his mom's cancer and make her happy again. This kid didn't want his mom to hear, so he'd asked me to get his mom to stand further away. Santa told him he didn't think that was something the elves could make, they weren't doctors after all. The kid just looked at him and told him he trusted him and the elves. Santa was a pretty stand-up guy, but even he looked stunned. I wasn't a Santa, I was an elf but I heard anyway, they asked for the real Santa to listen to them. That's got her hurt. Not a mall Santa, but I took over a property from a friend once that was being rented out to drug addicts. They were already way behind on rent payments, and we put them out. They left behind the worst mess imaginable. As I was cleaning out the kids room, I found a letter to Santa from what I guess must have been a 6 or 7 year old girl. It read Dear Santa, if you can please get me one thing for Christmas. If you can't, it's okay. This one is sad on so many levels. Yeah, it still haunts me to this day. Years ago I took my son to see Santa. As we waited, we were able to overhear some of the kids talking to Santa ahead of us. One little boy said, I just want grandpa to be okay. Or, Santa replied with something we couldn't hear and then the child yelled, that's the same bullshit my mom says. You guys are liars, he told me can't even pee anymore. I still wonder if that kid got a catheter in his stocking that Christmas. I like this idea not a mall Santa myself but he'll give this an award to spread the question. Thank you so much. Did you fuck my mom, Santa? You better have said yes. I've been a mall Santa every Christmas for a couple years. This one, I'd have to say, four year old once asked for his mommy and daddy to love each other. His dad was the one taking him. The next year, he came back and thanked me. Both his parents were there. I almost cried. Edit, thanks for the awards. The kid is now in kindergarten, so yeah he was four. I wish I could see what's happened to him now. Slash imaginary reddit gold award because I don't have a real one. It never ceases to amaze me that random strangers spend money on me because I had a comment they liked. A gold award costs five dollars. I've told myself that every time I get an award, I'll calculate the rough amount it's worth and give that much to leukemia research. Edit, oh god. Edit 2, thanks for everything. As of now, there's roughly $20 in awards. $18.13 but I rounded up, edit 3, lol guys stop, donate all of the money yourself instead of wasting some on reddit and me, I was an elf. I remember we had this young Santa that worked with us. Not many like him since he looked young for the part. He was on shift one evening and we had this little girl come who was hearing impaired. Well this young Santa made her day by knowing sign language. They were able to have a conversation with each other. I remember the mom crying a bit. HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com slash amp slash s slash hello giggles dot com slash reviews coverage slash movies slash Captain America sign language slash percent three famp equals true a hero. Like Captain America. There also is a story about one Santa who knew enough Polish to tell a kid and his mom that Santa came from the North Pole. Mom, surprised, you speak Polish? Santa, of course. Santa speaks all languages. Edit, oops, Reader's Digest. It belongs in one of those chicken soup books, though. That article is infuriating because it suggests a video that there is no link to, only advertisements. Not the Santa but the most memorable for me was when I was 10. I asked for a clock radio for my room and Santa looked taken aback and then looked at me like that was the dumbest fucking thing I could have asked for. To this day I still chuckle about it because I have no idea why he seemed so offended. 
I once convinced a kid that I was watching to ask Santa for some bladder control medicine. Santa didn't find it as funny as myself and the kid did though. We here in the Netherlands have Santa Claus on five deck and he carries a big book with all the kids in it and what they want so you sit on his lap and he tells you what you want and sit there in amazement because he just said exactly what you told your parents you wanted. This is wholesome. Never a more Santa, but I was Santa Claus for Halloween one year and a kid came up to me asking for caterpillars. What is this some kind of crossover episode? Erica. You can't be here, this place is filled with children. Six years old, I want to be happy. Not a more Santa but look the part. A few years ago I was waking the dog late and I approach a family at the bus stop, instantly three children run at me. Do not bother the gentleman a stern voice commands. The older of the kids stops in his track. The middle kid slows to a stop. But the youngest runs at me, stops in my path, crosses her arms and angrily declares Santa, why did you lose your way and not find our house again? I stated I was not Santa but she wasn't having any, gave me a rant on my incompetence as I waked away I shaved. NGL I'd turn it back on the parents. Well your dad here told me you didn't need presents. That would be cruel. What if they were just that poor? I mean, the family was riding the bus, not driving an SUV. Not a more Santa, but I know I asked for something that probably hurt a Santa's heart. I asked for my mom to be able to walk again. I guess the bathroom. Make kids wait in long lines then get them all hyped up. Someone's going to go on Santa's lap. Someone's going to do it amazingly. I've never been a mall Santa, but I have a relevant experience. I was an alt in Japan a couple of years ago now, and we had an English speaking test where I would ask each student what they wanted for Christmas. Most were all like I want an iPhone 10 hour or maybe snacks or something, but one kid said he just wanted a mechanical pencil. Smart kid. The mechanical pencil won't shatter when you drop it, and it isn't likely to be made obsolete simply because a newer version of it comes out. Not a Santa just a kid the person in front of me when I was 9 asked for a dildo, chainsaw, AK-47, Black Ops 2 this was around the time it came out, and a Xbox 360 the person looked to be in their late 20s. Moral, don't dress up as Santa on April Fool's Day.